Hey Taurus, this is your mid-month July 2022 reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for mid-month July 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for mid-month July 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of taurus for mid-month july 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so taurus that's why i don't like new cards i don't i don't i just when i get cards i just wear them out to they're falling apart because I've broken them in. They're much better. I swear I can't stand new cards. Taurus, this is a mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Taurus. This is you. This is your partner. So, Taurus, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For mid-month, July 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Taurus, is judgment. Now, judgment could be either you or your partner passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Taurus, listen, someone here may be passing their own final verdict and judgment answer decision here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Taurus and their partner. Clarify judgment for Taurus and their partner. Clarify judgment for Taurus and their partner. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship or the situation is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There is no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are hanging in the balance. You're stagnant. However, someone could be changing their perspective. Clarify the hangman for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the hangman for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the hangman for Taurus and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, listen, someone could have the spark of a new idea. Someone could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or someone starting a passionate new beginning so Taurus listen you know someone may want to initiate something here okay however they have to judge it okay they have to decide whether or not they want to right now it's hanging in the balance Taurus it could be that someone did initiate something here with their judgment okay that caused you guys to go stagnant Taurus, listen, this can be passionate communication. Maybe someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance, and maybe someone is changing their perspective here. This can be a heated, passionate discussion or argument, and someone's judgment is to just go stagnant here. Taurus, listen, very well could be that someone's judgment is to go stagnant because someone started a passionate new beginning, but listen, we could be stagnant, and someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance, and we are starting a passionate new beginning. 
And I could go on and on and on and on and on and on. Taurus, you have the hangman. Hangman, yes, hangman. Taurus, you have the seven of wands. You have the magician. Goodness. Your partner has the four of pentacles. Your partner has the nine of wands. And your partner has strength. Oh, goodness. Ay, 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 Taurus, Taurus. The mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds is everything that I said before. <laughs> Please don't make me repeat everything that I said before. Taurus, listen, someone may have the spark of a new idea, maybe wanting to initiate something here. They just have to decide, so it's hanging in the balance. Taurus, listen, someone could have initiated something here using their judgment, and it caused you guys to go stagnant. You know, very well could be that you guys had a heated discussion or argument, and someone's judgment is to go stagnant here. Yes, you could have had this heated discussion or argument, and we went stagnant, but maybe someone is changing their perspective, okay? Maybe wanting forgiveness and a second chance. Taurus, very well could be that someone used bad judgment that caused us to go stagnant because they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. But it could also be that someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance and someone is changing their perspective, wanting to start new, wanting to give this forgiveness and a second chance. And that's the end of your read, Taurus. I'm tired. I'm tired, Taurus. Listen, Taurus, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So, Taurus, could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Taurus, listen, you know, this can be the person from your past. You're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys are stagnant. However, you you could be changing your perspective wanting to reunite with this person you can tell me that you're stagnant because someone from your past is in the picture you're stagnant because someone from their past is in the picture or you're stagnant because something from the past was brought back up here Taurus you have the seven of wands Aries Leo or Sag this is you being defensive you're on the defense but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors gossip and other people's opinions now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So, Taurus, listen, you could be standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with this person, yes? However, you can tell me that you're being accused and you're wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Wands. For Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. This can be a heated discussion or argument with you guys throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Now, Taurus, you may be defensive in this heated discussion or argument that you guys are having, some type of passionate communication, yes. However, Taurus, you can tell me you're standoffish and shunning this person because they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. However, comma, you could be being accused of communicating passionately with someone else or being intimate with someone else and you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation or excuse. It could be vice versa. Taurus, you have the magician. 
Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Taurus, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician. For Taurus, clarify the magician. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, Someone could be taking on the energy, or you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. And someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something here. You can tell me that there's a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. Taurus, listen, you can tell me that this is work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work this out. You're ready to put in the work, work on things here. Or you're telling me that there was a third party. You know, Taurus, you can tell me that you still have a, because when I look at this sentence, it makes me feel like you still have a great deal of love for this person and maybe wanting to come over and get some cookies because you're wanting to work things out here, trying to manifest working things out with this person because you started off telling me that, you know, I want to reunite. But Taurus, you could also tell me that you're manifesting having this rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument because you felt like it was a third party. Now, I hope that you're not wearing a mask and trying to manifest a third party, even though you may be being accused of having it. Listen, Taurus, listen. I feel like someone has to make a decision. I feel like we're stagnant here. This decision very well could be because we're having a passionate, heated discussion or argument on whether or not to forgive. This decision could be that someone here is starting, has started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. But it could also be about us forgiving and working things out and starting new here, Taurus. Taurus, your partner has the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is your partner holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could tell me that they're holding on to their coins, saving their money, being stingy. Or your partner's saying that they're keeping something close to their chest. Clarify the four pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the four pentacles for Taurus's partner. Clarify the four pentacles for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they have just cause to celebrate. Your partner could tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there was a third party. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're closed off to reuniting here. They're closed off to you because they felt like you had a third party. But it could also be that they were keeping something close to their chest about them having a third party. Taurus. Your partner has the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that their guard is all the way up. They're highly suspicious. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they feared that the offer would be rejected. So Taurus, it very well may be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. However, they could be contemplating sending an offer, but they fear it won't be accepted Hmm, Taurus, it's almost like your partner saying, you know what, I'm guarded, I don't trust, my guard is all the way up, I don't want this cup, I'm closed off to reuniting here. It's like I am like blocking, blocking, and maybe blocking here. Your partner has strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lust, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back from something. So Taurus could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Taurus's partner. Clarify strength for Taurus's partner. Clarify strength for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Taurus, your partner's feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. That's making them feel extremely weak. Your partner could also tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back because they're holding back, holding back, holding back, closed off, closed off, closed off because of this betrayal. So when it comes to you wanting to work things out or trying to manifest, working things out and saying no I'm going to miss this offer I'm closed off to reuniting here so Taurus I feel like you're wanting to go into explain here you're wanting to reunite with this person you wanted to work things out but I don't feel like they're ready yet I feel like this these wounds are still fresh still new so Taurus listen when it comes to your partner their judgment is for you guys to go stagnant here and yes it could be because you guys had a heated discussion or argument or they feel like you had a third party Taurus you had someone else 
So Taurus, this is your mid-month July 2022 reading. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.